um, bitters and broomsticks here. Once again, um, I have another haul for you guys today. Um, this is sort of a collected haul over the past couple weeks. Um, one of the big reasons is there's some products here that I kind of want to share and um, some, some sort of like not spoilers, but some like foreshadowing for some of the videos that are going to be um, coming down the pike, which I have some stuff that I'm excited about. So hopefully you guys are excited too. So let's get started. Um, one, this is an empty bottle. Um, but this was a bottle of uh, Fentiman's Cherry Tree Cola, and I got a four pack of it. And um, if you guys haven't tried this, I have a weakness for fancy soda. Um, having a kind of a bar obsession. I have a weakness for fancy soda because I like to use it in mixers and just because I like to drink it. Um, and if I'm gonna do something bad for me, like soda, I'm gonna do it right. <laughs> I want a good one. Uh, a lot like my cocktails. I don't, I don't drink very often. Um, but when I do, I want it to be really good because I usually only have like one. <laughs> um, so, this is the Fentiman's uh, Cherry Tree Cola. It's botanically brewed. Um, it, they use real cane sugar, um, I can pronounce all the ingredients in this and I don't even have to, like, try hard, like, the hardest thing to pronounce in here is fermented ginger root extract, um, which is in pretty much all their sodas. So, I would say, if you can find Fentimins, give them a shot. They're delicious and wonderful and they're... As far as soda goes, probably one of the better for you. Also, they have really bitchin' rad bottles, so delicious. Try it. Um, I went to a local, um, kind of a local new agey store. They're not really witchy per se, but they're kind of like new agey. Um, and I got some stuff there, and I'm actually kind of excited about it. I got these. They're good light. Oh, and the camera's turning around, so they're backwards. Um, they're good light, uh, natural candles. They're all, like, I think they're palm wax. Yeah, the palm wax. And, um, I actually already burned one just as, like, a test. And for birthday candles, they last a fair amount of time. Um, probably about half an hour, which I was pretty impressed with, honestly, for a little bitty birthday candle. Um, I'm really excited about it. I use birthday candles on occasion for spell work if I'm not gonna be somewhere, like if I'm not gonna be home for very long and I wanna do like a quick little thing, or if the spell's not like real, real big or something like that, or kind of an emergency, like I can throw them in my bag in case I want to have candles on me kind of deal. Like if I wanna do like spell work when I'm outside of my own house. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got these and I'm actually really excited about them. Also they're tiny and really cute. Um. One of the other things that I got that is from, um, what's your brand, Candle? I don't, I don't know. I didn't get the brand on it. No! Um, but this is a Chakra Energy photo. Oh, it's Aloha Bay. <laughs> there we go. Um, this is a, this is a protection a candle. It, um... It's bergamot, lime, and grapefruit. I bought it for the color and the scent. I'm not necessarily going to use it for the chakra uh, connotation that it has. Though that is really cool, and I do work with the chakras. Um, that's kind of where I started in my practice, honestly, was energy work, particularly with the chakras. Um, but, like I said, one of the deities that I want to work with um, likes yellow. Um, this, if you just, like smell it. You don't get a whole lot of scent, even though it's supposed to be bergamot, lime, and grapefruit, and those are usually pretty heavy scented. So I will see how this goes. It could be one of those candles that doesn't smell like a whole lot until you burn it, and then it smells amazing. So we'll see, because that sometimes happens. Um, one of the coolest things that I got from Radiance... Oh, the, the Good Light candles I paid $3 for which for birthday candles is a little high, but you know, they're like food safe and they're not using horrible wax. So you can feel much better about, you know, sticking them in a cake. Um, and the protection votive I paid eh, about two twenty five for, which is about on par with a lot of like the kind of witchy scented votives you can get. Um, but this, I got the, um, 
their Radiance is actually it's a local store and they one of their kind of main focuses is on like herbalism and, and that kind of thing and you know like natural body care products they have a lot of that kind of stuff um, but this is one of their recipe collections and it has collections for like basic lip balm and mold cider and rose petal honey which is totally a thing that I'm going to try and make I'm gonna try and call um my herbalist off camera and see if she wants to come over and like walk me through how to do that because I know she knows um, and if she sees this she's probably gonna laugh at me um, because she hears about my evil plots um, how to abuse her talents um, so yeah and it's got basic salves and massage oils and that kind of stuff so I eat this kind of stuff up like I hoard recipe books like a dragon um especially little independent like recipe books i have an obsession with church cookbooks like the ones that like churches make to sell um because little old ladies like will not give their cake recipe to their own grandchildren but they'll give it up for jesus um i want those recipes i will hunt down your church like charity sale and i will buy at least one from you. I don't care what denomination you are. It's like, damn, I want your recipe. Um, it's a weird obsession of mine. It's one of the reasons why a yard sale is because I want people's family recipe books. I'm kind of weird that way. Uh, speaking of books, um, trust me, you guys will hear about my obsession with church cookbooks, like, a lot. Um, speaking of books, I also got to go to, I went to go visit my mother uh, this weekend yet again. Um, she had been a little, uh, a little under the weather. Um, she, and actually she, uh, had a, had some high blood pressure issues. I was a little worried. So I went to go visit her this weekend and, um, we did some energy work, but all in all, uh, ended up, uh, after going to go see her, which was a great visit, I got to go to the Half Price Books in Tacoma. And me and the Half Price Books in Tacoma have a very special relationship um, we, uh, we, as if, it's, it's its own entity, darn it, I can say we, um, I can't go in there and not find something that I didn't know I needed, and sometimes I can walk in there and go, oh, you know, you want this really, like, hard to find book for your, for your birthday? I can find that randomly in half price books, um, but I got the A Complete Guide to the Tarot. And this is from like 1970 something, like 1971 or something like that. Um, part of the reason I bought it is I have no books on tarot right now. Um, I do do some card readings mostly for myself, but I don't have an actual tarot deck and I don't necessarily know how to work tarot. Um, I'll do a video on my cards to kind of explain how, <laughs> what I do and what I work with. Um, but I got this partially because of kitsch factor, because it's like super like spooky occult from the 1970s. Also, it's super basic. Like, it's like, this is the four of pentacles. This is what it looks like. This is what it means. Like, oh good. It's, you know, tarot for dummies. Awesome. I can, I can work with that. Um, the other thing that I got, and I've talked about this with, uh, with, you guys before is that I do use cocktails as part of my kitchen witchery, as part of my spell work. Um, so I consider a lot of my kitchen utensils, I consider a lot of my cookbooks part of my spiritual tools. Um, and I got this, the Bartender Standard Manual, which I've never seen before, but it's also tiny and cute. Uh, the tarot book I paid a dollar ninety-eight for. Um, the recipe collection was three ninety five. It was four dollars, so a little, a little pricey for what's essentially a fat pamphlet. But I'll pay it. Um, this was three whole dollars, and um, it has seven hundred recipes in it, and it is not very fat. I could easily like slide this into my purse and just read it on my breaks, um, because I'm a weirdo and I read bartending manuals when I have time. Um, but I really like, actually, there's re a couple of recipes in here that I looked at and went, oh, <laughs> that's really cool. Because it's from the 1970s and um, it was kind of the tail end of the cocktail renaissance. So it's not a bad time to look 
for your cocktail books. Um, uh, like, look for the old ones. They're usually, um, the old ones are the really, really new ones. Those are where you want to get your bartending books from. Um, but this is actually kind of interesting, really nice. I'm, I'm really pleased about it because it is really straightforward and kind of not messing around. I really like it a lot. Um, a couple other things that I got, because this video is running a little bit long. That's me checking my time, <laughs> by the way, because I can't see what time it is there. Um, weirdo, I know. Uh, is I got, -na! I got a new muddler. Um, I'm actually going to do a whole video on muddling as part of your cocktail spiritual spell work. Um, this is going to be a whole video dedicated to this guy right here, um, as well as probably some of the other, ha like, what I consider the sp possible spiritual uses of some of the bartending utensils. Um, so yeah, but I'm really pleased about it. It's cherry wood. I paid five dollars. Um, dancing with it, because that's just the way it's going to go. Um, I also got, na 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 na, Q-tonic. Um, ginger beer, uh, which I have not tried yet. I'm going to. Um, I actually bought this for um, a s potable spell that I'm working on for um, another YouTuber. Um, she's a heathen practitioner. Um, if you want to go check out her channel, she's Coco the Spooky Librarian. She's a great lady. She's super smart. Um, you should check out her video. She's really great, but um, I'm working on a cocktail for her. Um, and as part of that cocktail for her, I bought this. Let me move the tag. This is a local craft distilled spirit made from honeysuckle. Um, I'm also going to do a whole video on this distillery. This is Salish Sea. Um, they're local. And when I say local, I mean like spitting distance from my job. So they're about 20 minutes away from my house. Um, they're pagan owned and operated, so they're super pagan friendly. I'm going to do a big old video on them, but this is my honeysuckle liqueur. This bottle was $20 and I think, you know, it's not a bad size, um, especially for like craft brewed and locally made and I've tried this before. You can go to their distillery and uh, pay $5 and get a tasting. And if you buy a bottle, the tasting fee just gets rolls, rolled into the price of the bottle. Um, but the, it's really good. Like, it's it's really, really sweet. Tastes a little like honey. And then the aftertaste tastes like tea. Uh, kind of like black tea. Um, so I'm working on a cocktail, including the ginger beer and the honeysuckle, and I think maybe like an applejack or something. I'll tell you guys how it turns out, and I'll probably show you how to make it if it does work out. Um, the other thing that I got in this I'm very excited about is Cocktail Revolution. Um, this is for, this is a molecular gastronomy um, kit. It is actually a molecular gastronomy kit for cocktails, so it's molecular gas drink me kit. I'm going to say that. Um, part of this haul, I went to my local, um, uh, it says on the sign, you know, total wine and more. I call it booze land because it's like the Disneyland of booze. Um, I'm going to do a whole unboxing on this thing because um, it's that cool. Um, and I want to show you what it is and what, it, what we can do with it. But um, that is my haul. I would just wanted to share the exciting things I got with you guys, and I wanted to check in and say hi, and, um, I just want to, I'm so excited about my new toys. <laughs> I have no idea how excited I am about some of the stuff, and I'm going to get to use it very, very soon. Um, but, I love you guys. Bitters and blessings. Bitter out. Goodbye.